I, I think it's a stark reminder that there's this dark side to cloud. And, and I think, and I've been saying for years now, and I think we're starting to see maybe some of the early indicators of this unfolding, but I've been saying for a while that there will be a reaction, a negative reaction to vendor lock and cloud lock. And so this is the price companies are going to have to pay for jumping into this cloud movement. Once they get you into the cloud and you've got all your data there, all your apps there, your switching costs are so exorbitantly high that they know you're not gonna, you're not just gonna rip it out and replace it with something new. So it's it's a calculated risk or gamble that these big vendors are taking, which is let's push and see how hard we can push. If they can raise the prices and people are gonna pay, then it, I mean, is, is that their fault? You can, you can chalk it up to greed or whatever you want, but I mean, that's just human nature and that's how businesses work. So we're, we as, you know, when I say we, I mean that the uh, CIOs and organizations out there that are investing in technology, they're sort of enabling that behavior, in my opinion, by getting locked into one vendor. Maybe I want to bring stuff in-house again on-prem, or maybe I want to go to a private cloud, or maybe I want to diversify the vendors I work with so I'm not locked into one, or so that one vendor doesn't have this much leverage over my operations. Because if you think about it, what sucks about what Microsoft's doing, what other enterprise tech providers are doing, is that they have so much control over your business.